Hi everyone, welcome. I really appreciate it. Thanks for subscribing, for the interest. So all these vehicles heading to the moon or are the objects crashing? And are they asteroids, meteors? Look at the lights that I'm capturing on the surface. This is so close up that it's starting to blur, but look inside of the light. It is actually blinking around somewhat, isn't it? So if these are electric, it's very possible. Look at this one though, a dark object with a massive fire at the back. So maybe here we can't see the crafts and or the phenomena, but we do see that massive fire. And it's not a fire that's um, sliding across the surface. It almost looks, so to say, like it's sort of teleporting across the surface, right? I'm not making it up. Look, I mean, come on. It's appearing and disappearing. And it spots all along the surface in unison in a straight line where we can see them going along. And not always in a straight line. But what I'm showing here, obviously, just crossing um, um, in a straight line and disappearing. So... You could say it's coming off of the surface or maybe appearing over the surface. If it's a beam of something, I have no idea. Obviously, and even maybe a technology, we have you know no idea. I'm showing a lot of things that um, definitely the Unidentified Aerial Task Force is not talking about, not even close. These are leaving gases um, out of themselves or gases are appearing around them. Here's a yellow gas and, of course, whatever the color it's a fluorescent color and i'm seeing it with a telescope without a filter this is close up into the hazes something under the haze on the moon that is moving around and it looks creature like so i mean what do you want to call these this is uh, something aside from um, disclosure and now you say that's the only example i got no here's another one with either its shadow beside it, or I'm starting to wonder. I think not. I think it's two objects. But they are letting off gases on the surface of the moon. You're seeing it here. Uh, I'm repeating it over and over, and then I'm converting it for you. If that's not incredible. Uh, Jeremy Corbell's uh, Navy leaked video is incredible, but <laughs> it's still not close to, uh, you know, or as unusual as what I'm showing. Because it looks like a plane, what they showed. And blinking lights, come on. This one looks like an x-ray. We're on the surface of the moon. I have no idea what it is. But when you see lines and along the lines, bumps in, uh, you know, symmetrically placed alongside uh, one another as it spans across the surface, even if we don't know what it is, you say, whoa, it really does look uh, constructed. Frank on News Snegadas. How's it going, Frank? Um... He's got an amazing channel, Spanish-speaking channel. He's been sharing my research, but to make a long story short, he showed uh, a capture. Somebody caught a UFO recently. It's in the news, but it was here over Earth, and it's just like this, like a smoke ship elongated with a, a point, another head at the end, sort of another ball of smoke. And you could see a dark object appearing underneath this one here, and this is on the moon over um, a crater, pretty Pretty exceptional to, to have captured. So on the moon, if you think that that's not constructed, the blue arrow is showing an overlapping tunnel-like object. Uh, the other blue arrow on the top is a descending line, uh, another line overlapping on the bottom there. And now, Mary Christian at the top. That's like, it looks like it, almost like sinus iridum backwards. You can see a missing right there apple bite out of the moon we're gonna go see that close up and we're gonna go see um towering object we're just on the outskirts east of mayor fecunda Tatus, which is over right there let's go see that a lot closer and this was footage 2021 at the end of january so let's check it out let's get in and see um a little closer that towering rock object i don't know what to call it but why would there be objects one beside the other on the left there you see all jumbled up together well ladies and gents if i can still say that those are the structures they're they're objects anomalies misplaced on um, uh, anomalies or um, they're all in unison in line it's it's bizarre it's weird you know that's all i'm saying um but they're very hard to see and i can only see that along the terminator lines get in 
a lot closer. And there they are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, all lined up one beside the other. And we see that at 90% of the craters and mares. But that object here is really intriguing me. And again, uh, Mare Fecunditatis over to the right in the gray patch. And uh, Mare Chrysium around Mare Chrysium. Here we can see all these beautiful uh, anomalies uh, that stand out. I've showed them um, in a conversion also, but it's not quite as revealing like straight up like this without any filters so that you can actually see the truth exactly of what's on the surface there's so many so many things that we could look at on the surface here we are again um a lot closer see the object side by side in that incredible i don't know what to call it it's a towering object i've showed towers before do you remember Oh, and look at that square object on it, or a straight uh, flat patch with no bumps on it, right? So all these anomalies on the surface and uh, many more, and these are all recent findings, you know, even though, well, this one's pretty old, actually, January, right? But uh, last video, I showed you one in the crater, and guys and gals, we will zoom up in the one that I just showed you in the crater to get a lot closer, see what we can do with it. Um, there's the other tower that I've showed you. This, this is pretty incredible. Southern Highlands, it's always at the bottom of the moon, except this one is more up towards the north of the moon. Now look, on the left too, you can see a straight line edge going around the crater there, something drooping down there. I mean, come on there. You, I'm gonna show it to you in an incredible way, actually. Um, you wanna see the shadow of a towering object? Well, you're gonna know why I called um, this uh, title the way it is with the tower and the title because look at it guys you can't get any clearer than that a beautiful uh, towering object and on top of it the shadow right beside it longing it it's absolutely incredible All these connections on the moon. Wow. I mean, what else do you want to say? On top of them being connection, 90 degree angles. Well, the thing is, is that disclosure, you know, is not going to come out by the government. Probably not. But there's a difference. Proving uh, there's something up there, I proved it. But changing the situation of the whole world having shown this, that's another situation. I'm not here to try to do that. Look at this triangle. I like showing things that are natural without filters. And it's just like, whoa, what else do you want to say? Eh? And it looks like a cutout area or a literal dark cover, right? Like this one. Watch. This one's more of a square on the surface. It looks like it's buried. It's hidden. You can see that straight edge. <laughs> There's so many of them on the surface. Like 20, 25 of them for sure. Lots of uh, different sizes, some small perfect squares and some big ones. Remember this one? A couple of days ago or a week ago, I showed a light inside of a crater that you could see um, billowing on the surface. Well, watch what happens when we do a strong magnification to show the inside of the crater. You'll see very well that it's no pixel and nor is it just a light. What do you see all around this object when it lights up? Once again, yes, it clarifies the surface and lights up the surface and shows us other parts of the surface elsewhere. Notice how a lot brighter the surface gets as we head on over to Tycho Crater. You'll see Tycho is very, very bright. So NASA says, I mean, it's old as hell, but one of the younger craters, they say, if I'm not mistaken, there's supposedly a lot of green on the surface around there too. So check it out as we're, uh, and we're almost there, bottom right corner, the closer we get to Tycho, the more of a bright surface there is, or should I say the more cloud or smoke is coming from Tycho? You have to wonder, check it out.
once you're um, filming with a telescope and a telescope while you're filming goes off of the moon, what's the first thing you see? Blue. People are telling me, why do we see blue going over top of the moon? It's probably atmosphere, y'all. I mean, seriously, maybe it's the oxygen that's around the moon. Earth's geocorona, which is how far the oxygen around Earth extends to, extends 100,000 kilometers or more past the moon. Aliens on the moon, they must mind. They are best in the Cause the slow just coming soon. This is slow just coming. 